Palu Palu and you. I agree with I agree with uh, Jameson. Hate the character, but you love the gameplay. Yeah, definitely. That's I think that's what a lot of people came to terms with. One, go. Yeah, the way that uh, Violet functions as a sword character, if you want to call it one. Uh, it's really interesting to watch. So I'm fine with this character, even though uh, a lot of people didn't want him in the game. But let's see. What happens here? I want to see what Pelu does about you know all the zoning. So far, yeah. using the Nair to eat out Leaf Shield seems to be one of his answers. Because he can still get these Nair tech chases or flat out just combos from Nair that are really strong. Yeah. What a great way to use Metal Blade to kind of cover the low recovery there. Because it's usually a typical fire option to go for sort of the crater as a recovery option. While using the arrow. Trying to buy himself back time in the stage against Devin Man. Nice! About, wow, super the deep, deep end. Yeah. Super deep edge guard. Flash call, man. That's got a lot of knockback. And yeah, that super deep recovery is really good for Mega Man because he, he can recover very well vertically. He's definitely got some sauce of his own, man. I would love to have seen uh, ZSOS to definitely make it out here, but. Nonetheless, we got some great players all ahead of us in the next few matches. Leaf Blade sends it off, waits for the recovery. Great play because he gets the roll away from that and then punish the landing like so. Ooh, what just happened to Pelu, man? Hard Knuckle. I, I, that's, oh, man, that's sort of the creator. Man, Pelu Pelu returns the favor. You still up on two stocks, man. Pelu Pelu can definitely make the comeback. He's really good on the burst damage when he needs to pull it through with those dash. I'm sorry, with those Nair tech chases. Up tilt and Nair? Yeah. That was good, too, because look at the way that you had been sent in terms of that angle. Would have been great to see sort of the creator go out. Well, that's a charge. Yeah, so far, man, it's just really seeing Violet just being locked down by all the, the, the projectiles and just, even the pellets are just really uh, keeping Pelu in a really bad spot. Like, oh. oh my god, that jump got called out from centuries ago. Another Jesus. hard knuckle. Jesus. You is definitely ready for the Violet right now. Oh, you is most definitely ready for the Violet. I, I feel like you has been <laughs> has been dreaming of playing against this bio right now to get that run back against time gear. I definitely don't want to say this is a wash yet, but you you's gonna kinda got on lock on the matchup. But Stride said it really well, man. The way that Mega Man just Mega Man's toolkit just kinda gives Bio a little bit of a run for the money in terms of like overall projectiles versus sword range. You can see how you is able to bring this to that 1-0, but there's game two. We got five games. That's why it's the best of five, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see how this goes here on game two. Three, two, one. Yo, we didn't really have to see Pelu, you know, have to fight from a deficit uh, in the last match. So it's kind of like a whole new thing. Let's we'll see what the adaptation is here, though. I like the battlefield pick. Any opportunity to just keep up uh, the pressure on Mega Man's landing is really good for Pelu. Yeah, oh, he's he can keep he can try to retreat to the top of these platforms, but like Pelu can just stay right under him. It's really exactly. It's one of those things where like you has to you've been playing this so well and even then you needs to keep the guard up because of the way that Pelu Pelu kind of threatens those platforms. If you're above any of the platform, there's up air, up smash, and even sort of the creator, which is the up beat. Oh, cross it back at two, and unfortunately you on the aerial there with the slash claw. Down throw Nair, no dice, but gets the forward tilt and the forward and no play here. That's good too, because this is what I'm liking about Pelu Pelu. He uses a lot of up B to call out his opponents being in the air, and especially at the ledge when you're trying to escape it. Oh, caught the roll. I thought Pelu was going to try playing on the ledge a little bit. I love the leaf shield setup, though. He doesn't get to work out, but the idea is so smart. If he's not yeah. to jump. Oh my goodness, going over some tether cancels. 
really clean stuff from Felu. I'm liking the change up on this battlefield pick right now. Get off me. You can't jump in my face. See this up smash? Yeah, it's like a complete reverse of the last game. Yeah, Pelo Pelo is the one with three stock lead here. Crash Bomber. Oof. Double up B. We talked about how it's really strong recovery compared to Mimmins, and there's a back air on you with the reaction. Crash, that was good. That was good. That was good. Unfortunately, Pelo Pelo had dipped too low, but that was good because the way that you had set up all the threats Metal Blade, Hard Knuckle. Oh, yeah. Pelo Pelo was going to have to fight through some things. Up tilt to up air. There's oh, a sort of the creator in the back air. These Burst. up B resets are so strong. Yeah, that force match would have definitely killed. By the way, <laughs> it's that threat. I'm telling you, like you don't want to be a bilith anymore, and it gives you a little bit of a lockdown. Like, okay, I have to really assess being in the air now. Do a lot of pressure here. He was trying to get something started, but yeah, these platforms are just proving to be so hard for him to deal with. Pelu is just always there to get a punish. Nice poke. With the Nair, has him at the ledge too. Nope, doesn't get it. I would love to see the little, oh, man, never mind. It's another up smash out of shield. <laughs> Crazy. But I would love to see uh, more down smash from you. Oh, sorry, from uh, Pelu. I think it's another one of the moves that got a really good buff. Yeah. Yeah, down smash I having more. Did. Yeah, down smash. Um, on me. Oh, wait, hold on. Jesus. <sighs> so bad at this. A mirror, which is known as down B, but also it's the down smash as well, just because of the, what that's what the axe is called. Uh, definitely got buffed for sure, alongside Aaron Bar getting buffed as well. So those two moves definitely give Violet some much needed buffs in those weaker spots for yeah, sure. I feel like he can just throw it out on shield now and like yeah how much they can do without and, getting shield broke and or if he, gets, if he calls out a roll from ledge it yeah might that, that's yeah i was gonna say it's a, it's more it's a more of a thing that if you're gonna call out a roll which is really good i mean even in spite of that though he's not using it that much and he's still doing this well so he doesn't need to take my advice at all <laughs> Okay, stadium. Uh, not as many platforms, so I think Mega Man will not show the land as much. But he can definitely still get pressured if he's not playing patiently. Oh, oh. no! Not like okay. Wait, 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 wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, whoa. Yeah, yeah. He can, he can use, I totally wall, forgot yeah, yeah. that I was gonna say he clings to the wall. I totally forgot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cling to the wall with your feet. That was actually really <laughs> pressure, Pelu. He's still getting destroyed, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't matter, man. He just came back to the stage to take more percent. But Jesus, it's just forgetting the fact that sort of the creator actually oh, clings to the wall. Minute. Wait oh. a minute! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh Hold my on. God! Oh, oh my, oh my God! My God. He scared him with the tether cancel back there. I'm sorry, this is... Ladies and gentlemen, we have an MSM for everybody tonight. Jesus. Damn. That was nuts. Pelu, you're crazy. Oh, call up the jump. Yep, big combo. Ooh, calling out the roll too. I'm with David too, man. You is definitely shook from seeing this bio recovery. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. That was okay. close. That was good. That was good. Wait, wait, we're still living though. Yeah, yeah. And he air dodges off stage, jumps off of the fresh no, 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 no. face. Yeah, that, that, that was, yeah, the startup frames, because we saw that happen earlier. Aaron Bar is still a really good move, but in general, the startup frames are really slow. So it can be punished right before the move even comes out. All right, fail not gets immediately some of those hits. Forward tilt, gets him off the stage. Yeah, look at that ledge play here, trying to call out. That, that's good, because you can threaten with forward tilt, back air, and up smash, and cover a couple options. And if your opponent rolls, you can just react for that. Oh, watch out the downer, so scary. Yeah, good on Pelo Pelo. Didn't even roll after the ledge after that. Just stay, stay on your ground, forward smash to call out the jump, forcing the shield hold there to, at the ledge. Man, Pelo, you is fighting back. Two yeah. stocks apiece, man, but whoever takes the next stock definitely has a, some of a lead to work with. Both these guys' movement is so good. But there's that up smash again. You can never be above Violet safely. Yeah, you can. The platforms are oh. now for where you want to be around Violet, especially on PS2 or Battlefield. Oh, wow. 
avoiding, avoiding trying to get below the ledge. Great stuff to Pelu. Yu looking for an opportunity here. Uses Metal Blade, comes in with Leaf Shield. A little bit of a pressure, but not enough. Still some damage on Pelu. You really get used to the Nair too from Pelu. Okay. Mixing up the ledge play a little bit. Try to make, try to make it really hard for him to get edge guarded by Mega Man, but you still keeping up the pressure, only 19%. Oh, that oh, was good! That was so good! Time. Yeah, every time he sets this man up for that low recovery. We did see Pelu adjust to that to avoid that low recovery, but now Yu has forced that with Crash Bomber and Metal Blade, and he never fails to do so. Well, also, man, Pelu just keeps jumping from ledge right into the downer. He's actually just jumping yeah. into the downer at this point. So he's actually just got to uh, stop his habit of jumping from ledge so much. All right, Crash Bomber, right. that's going to force Pelu to re-enter. Yeah, okay. You slowly making this comeback. I'm telling you, Strides, it doesn't matter who oh. wins. We have an MSM for everybody tonight, and these two are showing up for it. Watch the getup. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, man. yeah, watch the getup. Watch that, because you might have been on the wrong timing there. Nope, no up air. He finds the way back to the ground safely. Okay. Yeah, nice. fail. Dude, that's good. Every oh. time, another fail not. Third oh time's my. a hit, man. Fourth this time? man is the sniper. I actually thought he was going to go for the fully charged one. Almost gives him the poke on the shield. Oh, okay. caught in the middle of an aerial. You know he was trying to set up for a back air. Pelipo is going to watch him to get up. But unfortunately, oh. the timing is wrong here. Mistimed it. Yeah, and timed it. Wow. That was you. crazy. Clutching that out, man. That was Pelu Pelu's game to win, and you slowly brought that back for you's game to definitely take over, man. Pelu Pelu definitely. I disagree with GDSS251. That was a, we saw three fail knots hit the mark. That was definitely enough arrows to go around. One thing for sure that you got is understanding that when Pilot goes for that low recovery, you can punish Violet for that. And there was a lot of sell-up that you had to go for it. Definitely a very suspenseful game. Yeah, that was nuts. Honestly, um, yeah, Pelu just gotta watch that ledge play. Like, going low is already risky enough, but if you just keep, like, jumping from ledge, uh, you're just gonna get spiked very often. So now you, one game away. Yeah, this is best of five here. You on set point. Pelu Pelu definitely a little bit on the receiving end. We'll see how things go. This is game four. Ready? All right, do or die Marker. for Pelu. Yeah, do or die for Pelu Pelu here. You definitely might be... The one completing the script, man. We might be seeing Mega Man Grand Finals. We might be seeing a script rewrite with Byleth. Well, it doesn't matter, man. These are great matches all around. Let's get into game four. But also, of course, you guys already know, man. Shout out to the men of you. Definitely being partnered with them. Allows for some of you guys to get some of these great clips all on such a great app available now on the iOS. Oof. Okay, you thought you could snipe the jump? Yeah, Yu is relentless once he puts Pelu at the edge or off stage. Ooh, what a change up. We haven't oh. been seeing Pelu Pelu go for Aaron Bar on the side of the stage to make that recovery. And that was a little bit of a change. But unfortunately, that roll, man, and these recoveries Pelu Pelu has been forcing, has had a forced hand against Yu just the way he's trying to recover back on the stage. Yeah, Yu is uh, so strong at keeping people in disadvantage when they're at the ledge. Like, he has so much percent in these situations. Nice. Yeah, something he also does is really interesting is that like he'll just throw all these projectiles like make you feel like you need to jump over them and then he just immediately just air airs you with like an aerial like back air, forward air, things like that. Oh, doesn't Reed, oh, what pressure with that angled oh. metal blade and then oh that was good that was good he knows he knows Pelu Pelu has been rolling at the ledge why not go for another forward smash there up throw up there cool. yeah keeping pressure the landing again Pelu got his work cut out for him right now oh my goodness almost almost big into another down air setup wow 
You just man, getting all these grabs too. Pressured up the ledge again. Yeah, go for the re -grab. Oh, that's a problem had though. No more invincibility. Yeah, that's that was at first. Uh, look, at first it looked like a good re grab, but unfortunately, yeah, you lose that. Oh, that's it. Oh, that. Wow. Oh, okay, I, what a reversal. Excuse wow. me. I'm sorry. Commentator's curse will not be happening here. Pelu Pelu has. Yeah, he, Pelu Pelu has a lot to give so far. Up to up air. Read the landing. One oh, read. One read. The lead shield. The one move. Oh, he has a lot of moves, but the best punish he could get on that leaf shield to get the stock. I'm telling you, man. Pelu Pelu has a lot to give. He's not giving out just yet. The controller is definitely in his hands, man. But this Nair, Pelu Pelu's going to watch the get up. Oh, my I God. Was... I can't believe he did a neutral get up on that again. I'm too scared for him. Every... Last time. Yeah, I was going to say. The last time he died. You want to watch out on those neutral get ups. You can't even roll get up, too. Oh, the pressure at the ledge. Oh, forward oh. air. You bringing it back here. He knows he's got Pelu Pelu literally at the corner. Oh you got to finish it off. Pelu still with a lot of give. Forward air. No tech read. Back to center stage. Double oh, forward air here. these quarters. Whoa! Oh, the big call out. What a read! Completely, what a read! Completely reading his landing. Already spacing right there for the perfect range for Tipper forward smash. He did it that once so and pressure. he'll do it twice, man. Like he, he's not afraid to read you on that landing. He's done it before and he's not afraid to do it again. Jesus, Pelu Pelu giving the chat what they want. Game five. That was sick. How much percent like, was he out when he died both those times? I don't times? even know, he but might. he was at the ledge. <laughs> He was He's dead. Like 40, 40, yeah, 50. if if he was anywhere within like the thirty to fifty range, I'm pretty sure he was dead because that looked like Tipper. Oh yeah, yeah. it's been the, it was Tipper both times. Yeah, yeah, it but was yeah. Tipper both times. Yeah, I'm with the dojo. It might have been sixty or seventy, but it like that was Tipper F Smash twice, and those are callouts from Pelu Pelu knowing how you had been empty landing to set up projectiles to come back towards center stage and fight around Pelu Pelu. But man, this is a game fire, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's a run. It is, I'm with the real SK. It's definitely a run for sure. Yeah. I don't know if Pelu has been in winners very long. I, I think he's had a really long losers run. So this would be really good for him to get to grand finals in this way. But let's see. Let's see who can get the game five win here. Pelu with that reverse three stocks got to have a lot of momentum, I would say. Yeah. Especially with how early he killed him both times. Well, you guys already know where to watch some of the highlights in that meta view. Talked about it already. Let's go on to game five here. Pelu will immediately use the sword of the crater for Aaron Barr. Up tilt, up air. The bread and butter combo usually at those percents. Of these are so good for for Pelu. The resets uh, he gets from this lead just so much damage. Wow, parry into the dash hack. No tipper, unfortunately for him, but you can see the confidence is here from Pelu. Yeah, definitely feeling confident and using fail not to get you off the stage. Gotta watch the crash bomber there. A lot of pressure. Oh, that could have been a shield break if that hard knuckle had hit a little bit closer. Yeah, very scary. But since I'm off stage again, Pelu might be looking for an up smash here. Oh no, you really good way to get out of the corner with the pellets in the down air. Oh my god, another snipe. Oh, this man is on point. This man should be on the sniper highlight reel. Watch the landing. Okay, gets right off, out of dodge, man. But dude, you have to just play so evasive at this point. So many things can kill him right now. Oh, nope. Pelu actually <laughs> falls into that trap. Does not want to jump though. He bows the air dodge, but you is right there. Exactly. Well, that, that was, yeah, that was good for you. Just the way the up air forces you to go towards the ledge because you don't want to get carried off into the skies. So, and that pretty much pretty much gave you that big read, knowing okay, Pelu probably has only one place to go. Let's get this back here. Let me get the stock. Let me get this little bit of a lead here. Oh man, Pelu's really trying to get the stock, but finally sneaks in that back air. Jeez, this is just so much, so much intense gameplay for both players. Yeah. 
Nice use of that leaf shield again. Again, he doesn't just commit to uh, pressing your shield, the leaf shield he knows you're gonna block. He'll just retreat, throw it at you, stay really safe. Oh my goodness, what a clank! <laughs> who, who can clank with that move like that? <laughs> Hello going deep with the back air, not gonna find it. Gets interrupted by the leash shield, but he's just fine. Yeah, user has been using that up B to just go high from the ledge very often. Gary up smash, but he's still living just barely. A lot of pressure at the ledge though. Oh my goodness, tech chase down till up air. Oh my and Peli trying to read the rolls, but a little bit off on that. Almost get spiked again. Wait, off stage again. Yeah, good threat, good threat though. You definitely have oh my the forward as a threat. Not... Or the nair to stop the recovery. Probably... This stock is crucial because this can pretty much lead to a huge lead. Watch the recovery, yeah. That hard knuckle, it's got some range, but it doesn't go that low. A good fail not attempt there though. Definitely would have sniped you and taken the stock there, being stuck in leaf shield. Oh, with grab here. Yeah, that grab, not a lot of range for it. Have to get him off the stage no here. No tipper. No tipper. I'm still, still alive. What a read. But yeah, Ash that was a fake out. Roll. Wow. Yeah, that was a fake out. Because he knew he faked out the back air possibility and then went for an up tilt just to force out the roll. And that up tilt has some pretty solid range just to cover the roll and also an aerial approach. Definitely. Oh. Leaf shield here. Lenin does not get caught. Helu trying to see if he can just build some type of uh, percentage lead here that's substantial yeah no tech chase when you start looking at a 50 percent lead that's when your stock looks like it's a well cashed in stock here but at 165 man there's a lot you can do oh. 54 i'm sorry 44. hey man he died this percent last time <laughs> oh he did and he and unfortunately it's gonna be pelu pelu dying here but hey that's what you need to get that stock out of the way and to start working on pelu pelu here 60 oh, on protect Oh, oh my goodness! Almost the corner carry. Jab blocks. You looking so nice right now. Almost bringing this completely back in percentage. Oh, watch the rolls there. You has called that out with my four smashes here. Oh, at the ledge uh, catches the air dodge. Man. Oh man, almost gets another downer spike. Use back. Grab. Use back into those oh, positions man. he wants to be oh, against man. Kalu. Big back oh man, big back and the snipe. The huge snipe from off stage, Pelu with the sharpshooter to clutch out game five. That's crazy. I'm crazy. with the chat, man. Call this man Hawkeye because he can't miss. What he a can't snipe. Miss. He can't miss. He actually miss. can't miss. He actually cannot miss, man. I'm sorry. That is incredible. That was a Hawkeye snipe. I've ever seen it, man. Play of the week. I'm sorry. Play to start off the week. Jesus.